Hello there, internet friends. Thanks for watching again. This is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions, bringing today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Again, I am working in Chief Architect Premiere version X9 on my iMac desktop computer, and I'm going to be showing you how I am making a custom light lighting object. This one is a lot of fun um, because it's it's unique and uh, kind of creates a, a fun little um, event for me. Um, so I started off with uh, two, two uh, polylines, uh, standard polylines on the CAD default layer. Uh, the first one is 12 inches by 12 inches, and the next one I uh, copied 3 eighths of an inch uh, concentrically uh, about that. And what I'm creating is a uh, square LED ceiling fixture. Uh, the first, uh, and it obviously it's going to be a 12 inch LED uh, lighting fixture. So the first one, the 12 by 12, I'm going to select it and use this uh, uh, child tool down here called Convert Polyline. Click on that once and I'm going to make that a polyline solid and I'm going to give it a thickness of 1 8 of an inch. Now it's going to be important to think about uh, because the, the this is the light surface and the next um, polyline is the bezel that goes around that so I want to keep the top of the light surface and the top of the bezel at the same height because that's what's going up against the ceiling so elevation at top is zero absolute zero one eighth of an inch thick so I'm going to select this polyline uh, the outer polyline and I'm going to do the same thing convert polyline and I'm going to choose molding polyline here this is the same zero that we had previously uh, so I'm going to go into moldings and add new now I've got a basic molding that uh, I use for brick lintels often we'll just use that and give it the appropriate height of a quarter and a width of one half um, one half there we go now this we want remember that zero earlier we want that at the top of this molding polyline and extrude inside molding inside polyline is fine we'll click OK lastly I just want to make sure I have the appropriate materials on here so I'm going to uh, go into my libraries and I'm going to add a recessed light here So you can see this is the object I've started creating that's on really the floor. Um, and remember the zero doesn't, it's really an arbitrary number at this point. As long as you make them the same, that's the key critical part. So this, I'm going to take this material that's in the center of this recessed uh, light and put it on here. And then I'll select the same material that's on the bezel and put it on our bezel. That's all I needed this for, so I can delete that. Lastly, I need to uh, create a, a block that will appear in plan. So I'm going to draw another polyline here and a couple of, uh, I guess, notations, if you will, um, just outlining it that it's an LED. Uh, light here or, or that it's a light fixture um, so then I'm going to put a place marker in the middle select my line and transform replicate I'm going to copy that three times over rotating at 90 degrees about the current point which is what I placed there and you'll notice I've got three I've got four coming off of the corner at 45 degree angles. 
Finally, I'm going to um, I'm going to give the, uh, call it LED. We'll make it um, Arial three in height, and we'll give it a red color. Actually, I don't want rich text. That's what I'm doing here. What am I doing? I just want regular text. Arial height 3. And I'm going to make it on the default text layer. OK. Margins, I'm going to zero, 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 and make sure it is not a fill. Let's center it here and there. Text color is by layer, that's great. Now I'm going to select all of these objects and block them together. Give that a name. 12 inch LED. And we're ready to go. Now I'm going to, I've already, I left my camera view on and that's great here. Um, if you don't have the camera view set, um, go ahead and create a camera view, whether it's the um, uh, perspective full overview or, or a regular um, full camera. You just need this to see this in 3D. From here, we're going to go to Tools, Symbol, and Convert to Symbol. I'm going to choose Electrical, Add to Library, and Show Advanced Options. Click OK, and let's call this 12-inch LED. My 2D block option here, I'm going to select my 12 inch LED uh, block that we created. And you can see it in see that in plan view here. Now the 12 inch LED in this view is the name of the block. And that's fine. Let's go to options. This is ceiling mounted, and it is a light materials. You can change these or not. Um, the color white is the bezel. Lighting white is the um, light surface sizing. I wouldn't I wouldn't change these at this point. And click OK. Now this is going to appear in your library. Um, I created one earlier, but I like I like this one better. Uh, and then from here you've got a light fixture that you can drop in place. Now that's interesting that um, hmm. why the text oh the text didn't come with it that's what's wrong okay so I'm gonna delete both of these The text didn't get in the in the um, block that I made, so I'm going to explode this block. I've got all five objects selected, and then I'm going to shift click on the text. So there's six objects. Make make that a block, and we're going to give that a name, 12 inch LED. Now the name that um, we just created is already in this plan so yes we want to replace all versions here and you'll notice that automatically pops up into the light fixtures that we um, have already placed here so from here I don't have to recreate that as a tool I can just gr grab that fixture and add it to my library um, you can open the symbol and make sure everything is you know what you wanted it to be um, I should have seen that in this view. 12 inch LED 2 has the R, that's the first one I created, 12 inch LED. That's 
That's what I wanted the LED in the middle. So from here, I'm going to add this to my library like so, and now we can drop it into our tools. Uh, let's take a picture of our, in our camera view, and you'll see it is definitely what we're looking for. Hey, I'm gonna put this on my website. The uh, link to that will be below. You can download this for free um, from my website. Once again, though, you will need to um, you, you'll act like it's a, uh, a purchase, but it is a zero dollar um, download. Enter your name and information and you'll get this for free. I hope this has been helpful. Um, if you like it, I would encourage you to um, give me encouragement. Leave a thumbs up and comment if you have any thoughts or questions. And as always, subscribe and you'll get new videos each week. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great week.